So I'm Dr. Astrid Stuckerberger. I'm an expert, health science, population aging, public health. I have a PhD. Um, I have a Master of Science in Mental Health with WHO. And very early on in my career of 30 years of uh, research, science, for politicians, for yeah, governments, for the public, for universities. So yeah, 30 years at the University of Geneva, Faculty of Medicine, and um, other universities. I have um, been an expert and called as an expert at the European Union for innovation at uh, WHO, first on aging, which was my first topic for the 10 first years, and also collaborated a lot with WHO, but after that with ethics and uh, with pandemics, epidemics. We call it international health regulation. So that brought me to have a, a broad view of what is going on. So first, I, I will just explain that I have studied the United Nations inside out uh, during the last 30 years, I guess, because I was taken as an expert in the United Nations, not just WHO, the International Labor Office, the Human Rights Commission, and I even participated in many sessions. Um, I also was an NGO, a non-governmental organization accredited to the United Nations since 2002, academic NGO. So I, I know from inside out, I also worked for the government for two UN Open Days. I got a prize from Kofi Annan. So, uh, um, my ability to speak and what I'm doing is to try and explain the system. Many don't understand that the United Nations is a huge organigram. You can type on, uh, on internet, United Nations system, image, and you can see how it is built. Please do that. Because then you will understand that WHO, the World Health Organization, is just one specialized agency of the whole agency program and you cannot just take WHO separately. You have to understand that WHO obeys also to the Secretary General United Nations. So when we talk about WHO and anything we would do with WHO as a solution or as a response, you also have to put in copy the Secretary General of the United Nations, who is the head of the assembly, the UN assembly, who meets every year in New York in September. And what happened in the um, two past years, and I saw it retrospectively because I had not seen it going like that so fast in a way, is that they have been discussing since uh, last year and maybe a little bit before about uh, an instrument, an international instrument. They say a treaty or convention or other instrument that they want to build up, carve, and there is a guide on pandemic treaty, how to make it happen. And this would give total authority to WHO, to the Director General of the WHO, Tedros Ghebreyesus, who will be re-elected, we know now, as the only candidate for five years again, who's the first non-medical doctor. So this already gives you a clue that something is wrong. This treaty basically is using the WHO constitution of 1948 Article 21, to be able at the Health Assembly, which meets every year, sometimes twice a year, uh, to adopt a regulation concerning quarantine, lockdown, uh, diagnostic procedures, uh, public health procedures, even products that could decide under this Article 21. Um, so the key element of this uh, treaty is that the WHO Constitution would supersede all the national constitution. And there are constitutions almost in every country. So it is stronger than national constitution, national parliaments, any, any citizen, any NGOs. And they have also invited um, non-state members and private sector. So they can vote also. So it is a totally new governance that they are putting in place under the WHO constitution, which is the world constitution. They call it the world together or One Health, and from that entry point of WHO, they will govern the whole world because health is everywhere. Human beings, if they're not healthy, they cannot do anything. So that's basically what the treaty wants to do, is give all powers to a center, a secretariat, board, negotiating body, they call many names, and this will decide for the future and the destiny of people under emergency law. Even without emergency, they could make another law. Because once you have the power, 
under one constitution, one world, one health, one disease, one management of emergency. They also want to do a surveillance system of every country in the world to the UPR, the Universal um, Periodic Review that we have in the UN, in the Office of uh, Commission of Human Rights. So there are other agencies involved, the Labor Office, Telecommunication, IU, ITU, there is the Office of Human Rights. The whole United Nations system, s seems to me now, is used, abused, to co make compliance of countries, Minister of Telecommunication, Minister of Labor, Minister of Refugees, of Migrants, they have it all. It's all the monopoly game in front of them. This earth does not belong to them. The planet does not belong to anybody. That was a very wise Hindu saying to Alexandra the Great. The only thing that belongs to you is where you have your two feet for the moment. <laughs>